Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today on the menu, we have Cornish hens. Absolutely delicious, so let's hop right into the video. First, we wanna start off with uh, making our seasoning. Um, so I'm gonna use one pack of the Zesty Herb Seasonings. I love this seasoning pack. Um, and then I'm gonna jazz it up with some paprika, some um, garlic powder, some onion powder, some parsley flakes, or you can use fresh parsley if you want to, um, some black pepper. If you don't have fresh rosemary or thyme leaves, then go ahead and add in some um, dried thyme leaves and some rosemary into your seasoning pack. But I'm gonna use fresh rosemary and fresh thyme leaves later on in the video. And once you have all your seasonings incorporated, you just wanna mix it all around. And we're gonna set this to the side because this is what we're gonna be using to season our Cornish hens and our vegetables vegetables. So moving on to our Cornish hens. These, I can't remember how big they are, but they are a nice size. And I'm just going to cut out the backbone. Um, you can leave the backbone in if you want to, but I find that when you cut out the backbone, you're able to spread out the Cornish hens or whatever bird you're using. You're able to spread it out so then the, your chicken leg, not chicken legs, your, your Cornish hens, they can all brown on the legs, the thighs, the wings, everything will be like the same color um so i do like to cut off the backbone and i personally do not eat the back the meat off the backbone but if you really like the meat off the backbone what you can do is cut out your backbone and then set it to the side in the pan um you but you definitely want to cut out the backbone so it can spread out your cornish hands so your cornish hands can brown beautifully and you want to use some um kitchen shears make sure they are sharp um mine were pretty sharp that's why i was able to cut it them through but i have used some dull kitchen shears before and i was there all day child trying to cut the backbone out but once you have it looking something like this then you can put it in your casserole dish or whatever tin pan that you're using to uh, bake your corny chains also cut your oven preheated to 400 degrees at this time and at this moment you can go ahead and wash your corny chains however you choose to wash them now moving on to our vegetables i'm using some baby potatoes that i just cut in half and then i'm using some baby carrots that I sliced in half and you could put however much vegetables you want to in your um baking dish it's up to you and then I'm going to season with some what our seasoning mixture and I added in one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil and I'm just going to mix that seasoning all around in our vegetables and we're going to set this to the side because we're going to add this later to our casserole dish once we season our Cornish hens Now your vegetables should look something like this. And now we can season our Cornish hens with that same seasoning mixture that we made earlier. First, I'm starting off with a tablespoon per Cornish hen, so two tablespoons. And then I'm gonna dump the rest of that um, seasoning mixture on the front and also the back. You wanna make sure that you are thoroughly seasoning these Cornish hens. Make sure you get you know, in between the, the wings. Um, make sure you get underneath the thighs. If you want to, you can make little slits into your Cornish hens and stuff some of the seasonings inside the Cornish hen. But you just really want to ensure that you are thoroughly seasoning your Cornish hens because there ain't nothing like some non-seasoned Cornish hens or turkey or chicken, whatever you're gonna be making. Cause you can use this recipe and do the same thing for a turkey or a whole chicken or chicken um, breast, however, you want to do it i just like cornish hens because they're just so cute and small but once you have your cornish hen seasoned then you want to add in those seasoned vegetables that um, we pre-seasoned before we move to our cornish hens and when you're adding your vegetables in your casserole dish make sure to like put them all around the cornish hens because we don't want to put them on top because then you know your cornish hens won't brown evenly because the vegetable is going to be on top and then the cornish hens won't be able to get the brown underneath the that's y'all know y'all get what i'm trying to say so put the vegetables all around if you need to you can put them kind of underneath it um but i just like to place my all around and again put as much vegetables as you want to in your casserole dish these are your cornish hens and i'm going to take some fresh rosemary leaves and some fresh thyme leaves and i'm just going to sprinkle them all around the casserole dish as well make sure it's nicely incorporated again if you don't have fresh rosemary leaves or fresh thyme leaves then go ahead and just add some dry thyme or some dry rosemary leaves but definitely add rosemary and thyme leaves um but once you do that that you want to then take some paprika and some black pepper and sprinkle it on top just to help this will definitely help with the um color 
when you place it into your oven. It's going to help with the color. And then I'm going to add in about one cup of veg um, chicken stock. Um, this is optional. I just like to do this um, because I like a little, you know, I like mine to be really, really juicy. And you can use that to make a gravy later on. Um, but this is how your Cornish hands to look. And we're just going to place these into our oven for on 400 degrees. But and we're going to come back in 30 minutes, guys, because we need to baste them. So this is 30 minutes later. They should look something like this. And now I'm just going to baste them for about five minutes. And that is just me taking that juice and just tossing it right back on the vegetables, right back on the Cornish ends. You can use a turkey baster or a spoon like I'm doing. Um, and then I'm going to take two tablespoons of butter that I cut into cubes. And I'm just going to place them all around my casserole dish on the Cornish ends and the vegetables. Then I'm going to place it back into my oven for another 30 minutes and then I'm going to take it out again and baste it again and then I'm going to place it back into my oven until they are done in total I cooked these Cornish hands for an hour and 20 minutes and they should come out looking something like this absolutely beautiful and I'm going to take it a step further and baste them again so y'all can see the juices oh my goodness it's absolutely delicious and you can take this juice and make a bomb gravy out of it but I wasn't really in the mood for gravy um y'all know my moods be changing so I just let the juice in there like it is just let it submerge in the juice don't they look so juicy and moist they are super tender beautiful color i don't even know what to say but i paired this with some mashed potatoes and some uh, cream spinach and i and i threw some vegetables on top and it looks something like this and y'all need to make this for y'all dinner. You don't even have to make this on a Sunday, guys. This is a weekend dish because it's super, super easy. And y'all know I like super, super easy on a weekday. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys are washing your hands. And I will see you guys at my next video.